we need to have that knowledge in order to regain and to bring back into focus the moderation of Islam to find that middle path because if we remain ignorant then we remain easy targets for ISIS Boko Haram Abu Sayyaf Qaeda whatever Allah come How do we protect our, how do we protect ourselves from these types of things movements and groups and extremes by having proper knowledge of Islam This is the root This is the ultimately the only root And no with certainty that we will never establish Islam by creating a small group of guerrillas who arm ourselves and then go and try to grab power grab the leaders of the country execute them and say sharia now no though it might sound adventurous make a nice movie that's not how it's going to happen it didn't happen that way in the time of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he could have done it he could have gotten hamza umar ibn al khattab other leading warriors amongst the sahaba you could have gathered them and caught the leaders of quraysh in one of their meetings and just slaughtered them took over sharia mecca but he didn't that wasn't his way فَمَنْ رَغِبَ عَنْ سُنَّتِي فَلَيْسَ مِنِّي And whoever chooses a way other than that of Rasulullah sallallahu they're not true Muslims. They've gone to extremes. They've left the path. They've lost their way. We're not saying they're not Muslims, but they've lost their way.